Well, we want to welcome you into the Savage Kitchen today. I'm Stacey Newman, joined by Chef Scott Savage. And, you know, Easter rapidly heading our way, and you have a pretty good suggestion on what to do for that day. Yes, actually, we're going to show you a nice rosemary and garlic roasted uh, lamb. All right, this so what do we a, have? This is a top round lamb that you can buy in a lot of the local markets these days. Relatively cheap. It's on the cheaper side, so it's really nice. Instead of a leg of lamb, this is actually probably a dollar or more cheaper than that. So what we're going to do with this is we've got our rosemary, we've got garlic, shallot, and a little bit of seasoning salt with some oil. I've already done a lot of it and prepped it all up. And this is pretty much what you're going to come up. You don't have to chop the rosemary a lot. The, the garlic and the shallots, you do want to chop those a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up a little bit of the fat off of this. I'm not going to go crazy because that is some of the flavor. You need mm -hmm. some of that fat to keep some of the flavor and the moisture of it. The fat gives it moisture. Because what we're also going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to stab it a few times. And lots of people say don't do that because it... You know, they like treat it like you would your wife or something. Don't don't slice it. <laughs> don't, don't, stab don't, it. don't stab it. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna stab it a little bit. Nothing and this against is you, Melba. To get the uh, the flavors in a little exactly. bit more deeply, right? We're gonna flip it over. You can clean off some of the little, you know these nice little fat pieces. You don't need all that. If there's any silver skin, which there really isn't, you're good to go. So we're just gonna stab this a little bit. Flip that back over. And now the fun part, we're, this is where the kids would love it, get to play in the goop. You just grab it, just pack it on there, kind of poke it in. If you can, massage it into those little holes that you just cut. Now, is this something you want to do well ahead of time and let it sit and marinate, or is it something you do right before you no. put it in the oven? I like to do them at least 24 hours ahead. Okay. You know, if you do it, uh, like I said, do it a day before you're ready to go, about an hour before you want to cook it, pull it out, let it sit at a room temperature. It'll actually help the cooking process. It kind of evens the meat, starts to warm it up so that it doesn't cook so fast on the outside. It'll cook a lot more even at that point. Which so. is nice if you have company because sure. then you're not spending that whole day cooking. You've already got it already and prepped. Yep. And like I said, get both sides, top and bottom. And then what you're going to do is you should have a preheated oven at about 300 degrees. I like to do a lot of my roasts low and slow, keeping it at the low temperature. 300 degrees for probably a good 25 to 30 minutes. With this small, this is only about a two and a half, maybe a three pound roast. It's going to take a good half an hour probably, 25 to 30 minutes to become a nice mid-rare. If you want it a little more, take it in about 10 minute increments from there. So a very easy dish to put on the table, but one that will impress everyone. Yes. We want to say from the uh, Savage Kitchen, Happy Easter, everybody.